Go ahead. All right, first right. question, you're up. Oh, you're, oh, you're not doing an opening thing? Okay. No. All right, McKenna, so nice, nice to see you. See you. you ended up end, ending your night with 21, ki 21 kills. How, how, would you say, how would you kind of rate your performance tonight? Uh, I think it was a good one. I think it's a team win, obviously. Um, it's nice when they put a double block on somebody else that leaves me wide open. Um, it's nice when they match up a little bit differently, so the setter's on top of me. It gives me a little bit better uh, court to see, court to view, um, and they did that because they have to defend other parts of our game, and I think that's a really big part of our offense right now is other people. What is it What is it about this war on I-4 that seems to really drum up a, a lot of, uh, I guess, energy from the fans? Because it seemed, like, seemed pretty electric in there tonight. Yeah, I never really knew what war on I-4 was, but once you come here, it's a different atmosphere every time. I think it's really cool, really important to see. Um, and just the great fan base that we have to support us every time is really important. All right, last one. Uh, 12th win in a row for you guys, 10 of those in sweeps. So what is What are you guys doing right, so right that you're clicking like this right now? Yeah, I think we're just thinking mind forward, um, next ball forward. So it's not necessarily looking at three weeks on the road, but it's looking at that next point, that next play. Um, how am I going to help the team? succeed and I think that's really important. We have great back row defense which is really holding us together. I think defense wins games. Um, offense kind of decides by how much but defense is really pushing us right now in the right direction. Coach Dagenet was talking about how in the last game you were put on SMU's Michelle Wolf to try and uh, put her together and then you ended up get it, ended up uh, getting the double getting the double double. Can you just talk about what it was like to go up against Michelle Wolf and be able to still succeed offensively like you did? Yeah, I think um, a lot of teams do scheme towards me again. Um, it makes it easier for other hitters if they uh, rely directly on me. Tonight they didn't rely solely on me, which opened up um, myself and other hitters as well. But I think it's really important to know that you're going to go against a double block. Um, and at this point in my career, I know that I'm going to have a double block, so it's how I'm going to succeed through it. Um, there's going to be four hands in front of me nearly every single ball. So to put the ball at a different, different angle, different pressure at them, I think is really important. As of a couple of days ago, you had uh, you you led the nation led the nation or Division One with five hundred and and four kills. What is it about this season in particular that's really led to led to the success that you've seen this season in, with the kills? Yeah, I think it's just an exciting season. It's finally no more COVID, no more protocols to an extent. So we're just out there playing again. We're having fun again. Normal conference, normal season. Everything's flowing the way we want it to flow. There's not a ton of hiccups. So we just get to go out there and play. We're taking good care of our bodies. We're working hard in the weight room in practice to maintain what we have and keep going from there. Dagenet has kind of commented about about this, but you're certainly but you're certainly making your way up the kills list towards the 2,000 career kills. What has it been? How, how has it been for you to be for you as you kind of climb the historic climb that right? Sort of um, I don't know that I'm climbing it. I don't really think about it. I just know that it's another win in the books. Um, it's another kill for our team. It's another point on the scoreboard, and we have to get to 25 as fast as possible. You've also been getting a lot of double doubles this season. Uh, uh, this season, how was uh, uh, season? How are you able to like talk about how you're able to really flip from going from from going with offense to from uh, with kills to defense with digs? Yeah, um, defense is my game uh, actually more than anyone. I really love defense. Um, it's it's my part. It's my favorite part. I get to calm down. I get to be myself. Um, so I don't have to hit, I don't have to swing, I can just play defense in the back row. Um, McKenna, what do you think that the team has to do um, to continue on the win streak? What do you feel like there's some things tonight that you feel like you got to improve on and hopefully get the third team facing Temple off of it? Yeah, I think the biggest thing right now is what's happening on the other side doesn't matter too much. You have your header tendencies, which matter. Other than that, the slowdowns in the game, what the other coaches are saying, what the refs are calling, I think we kind of uh, let it affect us a little bit more tonight. Um, so to go out there and play, um, execute as fast as possible, as quick as possible, and as clean as possible, I think is the easiest way to get out of a game and the fastest way to get out of a game. Uh, you kind of touched on this earlier, but what's different about this team specifically compared to ones you've been on in the past? Um, I think we're just really open-minded this year more than we have been in the past. There's a lot of young volleyball brains, which I think is really cool. Not necessarily young people, but young volleyball brains. Um, and we have a good, strong group that is leading them into the right direction, into the right path. Um, without that, I don't think we would be going down the same path as we are. We have a lot of people that are willing to take in different roles, do different jobs when needed. Um, 
Well, um, McKenna, I mean, in the third set, I mean, there were a couple of tie scores uh, before uh, the lead changes happened. I mean, uh, what, what was the what was talking about the group just have, having a regroup, reset mm -hmm. um, during those um, tie periods? What, what what was the message uh, to your group um, so that you guys could be able to complete the sweep of your set? Yeah, I think it's just to do the simple things uh, as fast as we can and as easy as we can. We tried um, when we did have the tie games, we tried to make them as complicated as possible. And it's like, no, volleyball is an easy game. Go out, make it an easy game. Um, so I think defense again, I think we can, if we can perfect the defense side, the offense is gonna look a lot prettier and a lot nicer. So when offense kind of slows down, it's actually probably more on the defensive end than the offensive end. I mean, you, you talk about how much you love defense. You're, you say more of your defensive player. Are, are, is that just more of your role or, or would you consider yourself more of a two-way player with your contributions on offense? Yeah, I'd love to consider myself a two-way player. I grew up playing libero. Grew up as a setter, grew up as a hitter, so I've grown up playing all different positions. I've been around volleyball my whole life. So I like seeing all different types of the game, all different styles, um, and it helps you grow into the game. I think a chess match is how volleyball is played, um, and it's who's gonna move their piece first to win. So you're, 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 you're obviously, you know, playing alongside players like Amber Olson, Amory Watson, Narissa Moravac, and young guns like Caitlin Grimes. All of them have been playing, up the, uh, play, playing really great volleyball over the past couple of weeks, if I do say so myself. What is it like to be playing with all, with all, of, the, uh, with all of these women, some of which mm -hmm. are really are making their own mark on the UC, on the all-time career yeah. rankings? Um, again, it's comfort knowing that the person next to me is going to get that same ball over and over and over again. Um, and they're not going to get that same ball over and over and over again. So it, we learn how to play with each other. I think that's a big part of the game. Um, and when somebody's super consistent at one thing, it makes it very obvious of what they're going to do and so we can stay with it. So, so next match, of course, is going to be the final home match of the regular season, Senior Day. You're listed as a senior yourself, though you do have that one extra COVID year of eligibility. Is there anything you're able to tell us at this time about that, either going, going into Senior Day or about that possible extra year of eligibility there? I don't know exactly what I'm doing yet. I know that eventually um, I hope to continue playing volleyball, but I don't know exactly um, my plans for academically and athletically yet. All right. What about as far as just going into senior day against this Temple team, and what do you think your team, your team is going to have to do to pull out another win there? Yeah, again, it's another scrappy team. It's another team that we have to go put a good offense against, a good defense against, and a good passing game against. And in order to do that, um, we just got to be on again. Well, we take a really quick. Do you have any other I'm good. Cool. All right. All right. Thanks, McKenna. Thank you. Thank you.